Good afternoon. Bernalillo County deputies are looking for the family of a little girl found wandering on the side of the road just after midnight. We're told firefighters spotted the child, who they estimate to be three or four years old, as they were headed to another call. Right now, deputies are not releasing a picture of the girl or saying where she was discovered, but they do say her name is Monique. She has brown hair, hazel eyes, and is about two feet six inches tall and weighs about 22 pounds. The deputies will be holding a news conference shortly to provide more information. We will keep you updated. Investigators are still waiting for word from the Office of the Medical Investigator if the body part found yesterday in Torrance County is in fact human. A homeowner says their dog brought it home yesterday morning. They immediately called the Sheriff's Department, which conducted a search of the area north of Moriarty to look for the rest of the body. Everyone who has looked at the part says it does appear human, but OMI will make that final determination. The federal monitor in charge of overseeing changes inside APD will meet with city councilors today to update them on the progress. The changes are part of the order from the Department of Justice, which found a pattern of excessive force. APD has been ordered to make a number of changes. The latest update showed the department had only made a fraction of those. City councilors say they want to see more progress. I am going to hold his feet to the fire, and I believe the entire council will. Uh, this is just so important. Uh, we are under a federal settlement agreement, and we must conform with the courts. We will have a crew at today's meeting. We will let you know what happens coming up today at 4. An emergency room doctor and former congressional candidate is charged with DWI. Santa Fe County deputies say Miles Nelson was so drunk, he nearly ran into a teen driver before rolling his truck. You know, to how big a deal this is to me. You know, you almost hit a guy head on right here. What would you have done as a physician if you'd have hit him head on and killed him? This all happened Monday night. Deputies say a breath test showed Nelson was three times over the legal limit. Nelson did not want to comment for our story. He has pleaded not guilty. He does not have a history of DWI. A new partnership was announced today between Uber and Expo New Mexico. The two will team up to get visitors to Expo New Mexico for events so people don't have to deal with parking. It starts this weekend for the Southwest Chocolate and Coffee Fest. First time Uber riders using the promo code EXPONM will receive a discounted fare. Expo will receive a small amount of the money. Officials expect the biggest benefit to come during the state fair. Uber vehicles will get designated entry gates so users can get in and out more quickly. They'll also get to utilize a rider lounge with nice seating and refreshments. A reminder, parts of I-40 will be closed starting tonight. It's so crews can begin bridge work over I-40 in Tramway. This means traffic on the bridge will be down to one lane in each direction, so crews can apply an epoxy overlay to preserve the road. The project begins tonight at 9. It ends Monday morning at 5 a.m. Let's see what the weekend's going to look like. Here's Kristen. Mm, not too bad. A little windy, which I know... We could use a little break from the wind, but unfortunately it's coming back tonight. So I want to start with a look at that allergy report for today. Juniper and Elm still going to cause you some issues. A lot of sneezing and sniffling across the uh, metro area, and I do expect that pollen count to get higher as we get into next week. Hourly forecast for us today, upper 60s and low 70s. We will cool off to those low 60s by 8 p.m. 50s later on into tonight. So if you're going to be out late, make sure to grab that jacket and the winds will certainly start to pick up as we get towards this evening. Forecast highs across the state, 50s and 60s, 50s and 60s that is scattered over northern New Mexico. We'll be in the 70s and 80s though, down to the south. Deming very warm today at 81. As we get into tonight though, we do have just a slight chance of seeing a few pockets of light snow. It's not going to be much. You'll notice this actually fills in as we get towards the later part of tonight and into tomorrow morning. Accumulation, little to none. So it's not going to be a lot, but this cold front will be the big talker today and into tomorrow. Much cooler as we hit Saturday, and you'll see that in these seven-day forecasts. Southern Colorado starting with you. Sunny skies today. Temps in the 50s. Beautiful weekend with 60s to finish. Northwest, sunny and warm in those mid to upper 60s. Same kind of day tomorrow. We do see the 70s come back in Farmington by Monday. Southwest, sunny sky on top, 60s and 70s beneath. We do hit a decent cool down getting into tomorrow, only looking at 60s in Las Cruces. Warm up starts all over again on Sunday. Southeastern Plains, sunny with a little bit of a cool off even today. We'll see a bigger cool down tomorrow. Back to the 60s by Sunday and 80s on the way for next week. 
Northeastern Plains, 40s and 50s, so it is going to be a cooler day today. Even cooler getting into Saturday, 50s return Sunday, rain and snow likely by Thursday. Northern Mountains looking at sunshine today with 40s and 50s. It's a few 60s out there in Santa Fe, but keep in mind we do get cooler tomorrow. East Mountains, sunny sky with temps in the low to mid 60s, 50s through the weekend, but back to the 70s by Tuesday. Metro area looking at a sunny sky as well. Winds will pick up later on into tonight. They'll continue through your Saturday. Cooler to start the weekend. Back to the upper 60s by Sunday. And then you'll notice we're looking at a lot of wind next week as well as the storm comes in. Possibly some rain and snow by Thursday of next week, and it will come with another significant cool down below average temperatures to finish next week. So Twitter and Facebook is where you can find me. Good week and a sunshine. Again, factor in the wind tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, Kristen. Mm -hmm. And we do have NCAA basketball on throughout the day, but please join us for more news on News 13 at 4.